To begin working on Worldwide Telescope, you can just search Worldwide Telescope Download on any search engine such as Google or Bing. The link will send you to this page and you will then click on Worldwide Telescope Download 5.5. Clicking on this will then download Worldwide Telescope onto your desktop. You will then click on the Worldwide Telescope icon and it will open up to your main working page. To start working on a tour, you will go to Guided Tours and Create New Tour. This will open up your tour properties where you will fill out your tour title, tour description, author name, author contributions, organization, skill level, catalog options, and classification taxonomy. These will serve as a summary of your overall tour. After you finish filling out your tour properties, you will see your tour tab on the top bar of Worldwide Telescope. To begin creating your tour, you're going to add a new slide. You will see your slide will have the same start position as where your camera is currently positioned. You will then right click, set start camera position, head to where you want your camera to go, you're going to then go back up to your slide and set end camera position. After you set end camera position, you can then rename your slide to help with better organization. And preview your tour to see if what you get is what you want. You can change the duration of the slide right below the slide text. You can increase or decrease the amount of seconds the slide runs for. When you go to add a new slide, the start position of the new slide is the end position of your previous slide. However, before we continue any further, we will create a master slide by right clicking your first slide and hitting master slide. A master slide carries any text, shape, picture, voiceover, or music you add to that slide. This is the best place to add your music. Now going back to slide 2, set your start camera position, then zoom and drag to your end camera position. You can rename your slide. And then we will proceed to add an image. To add an image from the internet, right click and save image as any type of standard image file such as JPEG. After you have saved your image, click on the picture icon on Worldwide Telescope. Select your image and then reshape and place your image wherever you would like. Right click and click color and opacity to change the color of your image as well as the opacity of a certain color in your image. Right click and hit animate to have your image move. Click the left triangle on your slide to change the start position and size of your image. If you would like to see how the animation looks, you can right click and hit preview tour from here. Now let's add in a new slide. You will see that the image from the previous slide does not follow through to the next. Again, we can name our slide. We can set the camera start position drag to where we want, and end the camera position. 
Now, let's add in our text. Clicking the text icon will open up the page to where you can change the text, the text font, size, color, style, and border. You can drag the text wherever you want. Now going back to the start of the slide, you can double click the text and edit it. You can animate the text by right clicking and hitting animate. Click the right triangle and change the end size and position. To add in a shape, you can click on the shape icon. You can change the size and position of your shape. By right clicking, you can change the color and opacity as well as animating your shape just like how you did in text and images. To change the slide transitions, click the arrow between the slides. This will open up different transition options, each having an A time, hold time, and B time. Your A time is the previous slide, your hold time is in between, and your B time is the next slide. For this tour, I'll change each time to hold time 0 seconds, A time 1 second, and B time 1 second. The last thing to do is to add music and voiceovers. To add music, click on the master slide. Go to the music tab and select any MP3 formatted music. You can set in times, fading in and out, and auto repeat for the music. You can also change the volume of the music. To add any voiceover, click on the slide you want the voiceover to be in and then click on the voiceover tab. Select any MP3 formatted voiceover. and change the settings if you'd like, then click OK. With this, you have all the basic tools needed for making your own tour. If you'd like to see a preview of your overall tour, just click on the play button on the front or hit preview tour from here on your master slide. Thank you for watching this video.